All right, hello, welcome to Workdale, where we train for just one structural engineers. Uh, my name is Fashe Ochet. Uh, as you can see, this structure, you can see we have two beams. We have one here, and we also have another one here. If I should rotate, you can see, you can see this side too, and we can also see this. Now, at what point do we provide this, and why do we need to provide this? Is that okay? And what are they called? So, that is that. So, first of all, I want to say that this particular one we are seeing here, this is portal structure, as you can see here, 2024. This is portal structure 2024. Now, looking at this, you will notice that this, there's a beam here, and at this point, there's a beam. Is that okay? And since there's a beam here, and there's a beam here, what are their functions, and why do you need to provide it? Is that okay? So many at times, people provide this, whereas this should be provided, or this, and instead of this. So all of this will be explained in this uh, video. Is that okay? So now, looking at this, this is what we call a um, tie beam. When you come to this portal structure, 20, 2024, if you want something like this, we call it tie beam. Is that okay? And why this one? We call it plinth beam. Is that okay? Now, if we, there are some structures whereby you see this, and let me show you the example and why this is being provided, and why at times for me I would say it should not be provided instead of this, provide the other one. So therefore, let's go there and see what we are talking about. So look at looking at this. This is a plinth beam. As you can see, this building, this is a building, this is the part of the foundation. And looking at this part of this foundation, you discover that there is a block. There are blocks rather under it, isn't it? And these blocks came from what? From the foundation. And this beam is on top of this what? On this uh, on this wall. Is that okay? So that is that. I'm going to explain. And if you also look at this other one also, if you look at this other one also, this one you can see the tie beam. Is that okay? The tie beam. You can see this one is connected to what? To the columns and the parts. Is that okay? So all of this, we are going to explain this. And if you look at this one also, if you now look at this, I don't know if you can see it very well. You discover that we're having that tie beam and can also have a, the plinth beam. Is that okay? So this one, I'm going to explain them right now. Is that okay? Now, looking at this, looking at this, as you are seeing this structure, is that okay? As you are seeing this structure. Now, if you look at this, the purpose of this is because if there's any settlement, actually, it transfers the, what, the beam uh, sorry, wall load. Is that okay? It transfer the wall load at the same time. If there's any settlement, is that okay? If there's any settlement, let me delete this. Let me delete this. Okay, good and fine. Now, if you provide only this, if you provide only this, you discover that from your foundation here, from your foundation here, there are blocks that came up to this level, isn't it? Now, the reason why we are providing this is because if there's any settlement, isn't it? It's not lead to the what cracking of what of your block walls, isn't it? From this beam upward, there will be no any crack, isn't it? But don't forget that if there's any settlement, the block, the block under this beam, excuse me, the blocks under this beam what will be cracked, isn't it? And don't forget that something we call a first story bottom level, which means that your structure will go above the normal ground surface, isn't it? Which now make people to be seeing the block, the crack block, isn't it? Now to avoid that, to avoid that. Then before I go to that, you discover that it takes the uh, beam load to this what to this column, isn't it? And also to this column. But if you now provide this, if you now leave this one, you don't provide this one, and you now come to this place and provide this. Don't forget that the block that is going to be raised from this the first course here up to this place before the oversight concrete, before your oversight concrete, they are going to sit on top of this tie beam. And this tie beam is not only just there, now it's also distributing the load. Now, at the same time, supporting this column and this other column, as many columns that is, are being connected to this beam, this uh, tie beam, you discover that it's also in support of this, uh, of this column here, at the same time of this column here, which now make this foundation to be, to be strong for this structure. And at the same time, in a situation whereby there's a settlement, now, if there's, if there's any settlement, you discover that this beam here will breach that settlement, that space, which will now prevent this particular block around this place from being cracked. And since this beam have already prevented it, it will, not, it will now make your column here not to crack, and even the column above the oversized concrete will not be cracked. Why? Because there's a beam under that have taken care of that settlement. But if you remove only this and provide this, definitely, if there's any settlement, this column, this uh, uh, wall, these blocks around this place what will be cracked. I don't know if you get to what I'm saying. Is that okay? So that's fine. Now, how do we now provide this? How do we now make provision for this? At times, if that place you discover that the subbearing the bearing capacity of that place is very, very low, and at the same time there's tendency that the blocks will be what can or uh, the blocks we 
crack because of the nature of that place then you provide the tie beam or you provide this a uh, plate beam but it's advisably is what tie beam is very very important is better is that okay so that is that then how do you go about this that's what i'm going to show you now i haven't explained the importance of all of this is strengthen your foundation this tie beam and also help to bridge any form of what settlement is that okay? compared to this is that okay compared to this because if there's any settlement as we explain your walls around this place what we definitely crack is that okay why this one not will happen to it because there's a beam that is bridging it but if you provide this uh, tie beam this tie beam here you discover that nothing will happen to your wall your wall will remain is that okay and it's very very good to use this software portal structure 2018 sorry 2024 is that okay so how do you go about this so let's go there and see how it can be done is that okay okay so let's now continue so let me go to my foundation foundation plan okay they have been deleted okay let me come up with my um with my axis layers where is my axis display come from to this place display okay bring them up good and fine now don't forget i'm at what at the foundation now isn't it i'm at story zero is that okay at this story zero in Prota structure 2024 Prota structure 2024 where is my modeling okay you can see my beam under my beam you can see what you have work on foundation beam or tie beam now this foundation beam when you are designing you're doing your um Y strip or beam raft, you make use of that one. But what we want to use now is what is our tie beam. Is that okay? But if it's a um, beam raft or Y strip uh, footing, you can make use of this. Is that okay? But what we want to learn today is what about tie beam. Is that okay? How do you go about it? So don't click on this one. Use this one. Click on it, and then let me take it from this point. Just normal way. Click on this. Is that okay? The thickness you can see two to five by two to five automatically. Is that okay? So that is uh, that is that. And also come to this place, and also come to this place, and uh, put it here. Good and fine. Then escape. Let me escape. Let me let me check our three D and see what we are having. Can you see it now? Can you see it here? This is it now. But how do you now provide your print beam? The plate beam now to provide your plate beam you have to be at story one you can see at story one before we were in what story one plus story zero is that okay we we're in story zero but now we want to go to story one and insert it is that okay because if you look at this my what's the height of my structure um okay for my height for the height of my structure I'll come to this place then this one and then click on this and edit story this is total structure 2024 so let's wait for it let's wait for it to come out okay the height of my story is what 3000 is that okay that's the superstructure is 3000 why my foundation from superstructure below is 1100 is that okay so i close so now for me to know that level that level i will now come to this place leave it at 3d and then come to sorry 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 about that um where are you okay we are here all right okay so now for me to know that level of that 1100 which is my uh, the height of my substructure uh, uh, substructure rather then i'll come leave it at this and then come to my uh, foundation click on this can you see it now can you see it can you see it can you see the level on the on the column can you see it can you see it you can see it now isn't it now whatever i whatever beam i prov i'm providing at this point now this point of axis now is called what is called my plate beam is that okay because it's at the top of my what of my is that the point where my superstructure starts from is that okay so how do you now go about this how do you now go about this from this point here to this point here is three thousand is that okay why from this point downward is what is 1001 is that okay so that is that then at this point now i want to provide my word my um my plate beam so to do that i have to be at story one is that okay story one so i'll come to story one click on it double click now it's my story one so i'll now come to my model model rather okay click on the beam and from this beam i'll click on what on normal then from there i come to this place what's my thickness this is my um I can leave it at 450 or 300, whichever one you want. So I can let's say 300. Let's I'm using 300. though it's going to be designed later. It's going to be designed. So that is that. Now, since it's going down, don't forget. Since it's going down, I have to come to my 3D place and then put my what at Z. I will put minus 3000 because that's the height. 3000 and also come to this place minus what 3000. Is that okay? 3000. Okay. I'll click on what. I'll come to this place. I'll come to this place from here to this place 
also click so can you see it now it's there already so i'll click on close then you can see it now because what we are having can you see it now so i from this point now you can see that i've provided my type beam and also my what my plate beam and the reason why you provide the type beam type beam i've explained and also my what my plate beam i haven't explained show you some pictures of those uh, those uh, things you can see it you can see this one now this one this reinforcement you are seeing here here this reinforcement you are seeing here look at it here look at it here use it now and this other one that you are seeing here this other one you are seeing here this one you are seeing here this type beam here look at it here look at it here so that is a that is a, so this is how to go about it so preferably it's good to provide to in order to prevent cracks as i said you have to prevent crack in a, in a situation of a settlement it's good you probably use what use a type beam if you, do, if you don't do this one good and fine but it's good to use what to use this is that okay so that it's take care of everything at once if you don't work cannot if you cannot provide this at the same time this it's better you provide this is that okay so that you take care of it so that the up will not be cracked even the foundation blocks well, we also know what be cracked is that okay so that is uh, that is that in case you have not subscribed to ekidel i want to say you should click on subscribe button and if this uh, in case it is this is your first time and not only that if you have not click on like button or give it a thumbs up please i want to say you should try and do that it's very very important so this is how you go about this and i want to say if you have not gotten this portal structure 2024 you should try and get it because there are things that you cannot do in portal structure 2018 and out of 2022 even 2021 but you can do it here in portal structure 2024 is that okay so that is a that is that a lot of videos that we are going to be producing from this uh, portal structure 2024 to show you differences we have done some before so and this is part of it that we are doing here type beam you cannot get it in a, what you can get there is a, in a portal structure 2022 is a foundation beam but you cannot have a what type beam is that okay so but you can have the type beam here in portal structure 2024 is that okay so that is a, that thank you very much till i see you next time in our next video i want to say click on like button and also invite others to join ekidel thank you and god bless you bye